Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I want to talk about farming gold in Red Dead Redemption 2. So the way you want to do this is you want to go into a game, a race in particular is what I chose to do it with, and then it's all about putting your remote down. The reason I'm doing this tonight is because I'm watching the Fury Wilder fight, so I decided I'm going to earn myself some of that real game currency that they're going to be charging for before too long by, by playing a race, putting my controller down, and letting my player just walk while they finish the race. So as you can see, we're 50 seconds in so far, going on 60. I haven't done anything yet, and I'll be able to leave this for multiple races. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see how much gold we get at the end of this, and see how much time it takes for us to actually earn a bit of gold whilst putting the remote down and maybe doing something else, albeit maybe watching a TV program, maybe, you know, doing some daily work or whatever we're doing, you know, having food, whatever we want to do, you want to make sure you're using this technique to just farm that extra bit of gold. You get gold, you get cash, you get XP. So with that being said, I'm going to just start skipping now to the part where we're seeing exactly what we're earning so we know, like, the kind of ratio of how fast we can earn this and, you don't know, how much we can possibly make of it. So as you can see, the race is coming to an end now. The other two players have finished, and it's taken us four minutes and eight seconds exactly to get that one done. So let's go and see what we get as our reward now. And as you can see, for our reward in that one, we got one 0.1 piece of gold, we got $1.88, and we also got 100 XP. So you also get the XP to level up doing this as well as the gold and the money. So like you just leave it now and let it roll into the next race. It goes all the way automatically to here and you just let it do it all over again. So we, here we are. Here's the second race starting right now. So I'm just going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to let it run and do its own thing. And we'll see exactly how much we make from this one in about four or five minutes. Okay, and come the end of this race, it took four minutes and 16 seconds that time. And as you can see, we got one gold, $1.66 and 68 XP for that one. 0 0.01 gold, I should probably say. And yeah, so that's the second one done and dusted. I'm probably going to finish one more of these for you guys to see. Just the kind of stuff you get for doing them. But so far, you know, that's two gold for free. And you got to remember, this currency is actually what they make you pay for in this game. So it actually is worth getting your hands on. So we're going to have to wait another 10 seconds before it chucks us into another one. We've literally had to do nothing so far. One thing I would say is if you're using a PlayStation controller, it will vibrate from time to time. So you either want to... Like, get, just get a little bit of sellotape to hold it out of position so that you know the button's always moving. Or you can probably turn the vibration off in the settings or something like that if you really wanted to as well. Let's get into the third one and see what we get as our third reward. And we're just going to do the same as all the others, obviously. Just leave our remote down so the analogs are down and let everyone else go and run the race for us while we probably just check to it. And as the final one comes to an end, it looks like we're going to hit six minutes. Honestly, you don't even understand how far away we are from everyone in this one. He just kept, she, uh, she just kept traveling so far away. So that is the third and final one out of the way. Let's find out what we got for this one and end this video. And in the end, we got 0.2 gold because it went to six minutes. So it was well worth staying in there. We almost got $4 as well, $3.50 and 200 XP. So that one was well worth being in there for. And I'm telling you now, this is a really good way if you're not playing the game just to earn that cash. So in that small time there, I think it took us overall two, four, it took us about 12 minutes. We earned four gold. We earned ourselves maybe, was it a dollar each time? We earned ourselves about $5 and a decent amount of XP to go along with it. I'm going to let it roll in again because I'm just going to keep doing this now while I carry on watching the fight anyway just to earn myself the cash. And I suggest you guys do it too. I understand it's not the fastest method. I understand if you want to play the game, it's not there. Good for you. But the second you've got to go and have food, you might as well leave it on. You're going to come back with maybe four or five more gold. The second you need to, you know, maybe go out for a bit, do a bit of homework, anything like that, leave it on for a bit and it will make you free like in-game currency that a lot of people are going to be paying for that gold when it comes out. So, you know, it's a good way to try and get ahead and get it. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. As always, any comments, leave them in the comment section down below and take it easy.